Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a sunny Hopkinton Hillers softball field. It's about 50 degrees out, a bit of a wind. We'll actually have a 20 mile an hour wind for the game today. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call as we get you ready for Hopkinton Hillers softball as they are set to take on 1-0 and Natick. The Hillers just coming off a tough loss to the Milford Scarlet Hawks, a 7-1 loss, their first loss of the season. The Hillers are 3-1 and on the year. Let's take a look at the Hopkinton Hillers field. Bree Mirabli is going to get the start on the mound. Lizzie Kelly will compliment Mirabli in the battery as she will catch once again. Heather Hawley will play first base. Molly Bennett over at second. Kate Walzell, the shortstop. Nikki Como, the third baseman. Left to right, Lindsay Whittles, Renee Cooprider, and Kayla Sullivan. And now for the Natick batting order, Julia Adelman will lead off, and she is the right uh, left fielder for Natick. Then Julia Stevens, the third baseman, will bat second. Sam Stone, the catcher, will bat third. Taylor Erickson, the pitcher, will hit cleanup. Maddie Mastriani, the shortstop, will bat fifth. Batting sixth is the second baseman, Joyce Libin. Batting seventh, Andrew Larade. She is the center fielder. Batting eighth, Laura Sears, the first baseman. And rounding out the Natick batting order is Eve Lenson, the right fielder. As we are just about set for softball here on the grounds of the Hopkinton Hillers. It is their third home game of the season. They are one and one at home so far. Three and one overall. And it's off to a pretty good start for the Hillers when you consider that their main pitcher, or their expected main pitcher this year, Juliet Hume, has been unavailable for the first few games of this season. And she's also not available today as Brima Rabley has done a nice job at taking over for Juliet Hume. And she is set to deliver to Julia Adelman, the first hitter of the day. And the first pitch is up high for ball one. And you will hear the wind blowing throughout the game. A windy day just uh, like yesterday when they battled the Milford Scarlet Hawks. A little less wind today and a little less clouds. A swinging strike there, one and one. Natick, they've only played one game so far this season. They've also run into the rain curse as that pitch is a little bit low. This game was actually rescheduled twice before they were able to play it due to field conditions. They were originally supposed to play this game on Tuesday. There's a swinging strike. And actually, she is going to take off her first on the wild pitch, but the throw down by Kelly will be in time. So one out in the inning. And that'll bring up Julia Stevens. As the righty steps in, the windup and the pitch, swinging strike. Rabley has some good stuff on the mound and has some pretty good speed on her pitches as well. She has a nice changeup that has a pretty good drop as well as that pitch is in there. 0 and 2 count. That is fouled away. Count remains 0 and 2. And you can tell it's a little warmer today. Some of the Natick players going with the sleeveless shirts. Mirabli awaits the sign. The wind up and the pitch. That's fouled away. Got an early start today, an 11 a.m. start, as it is school vacation. So therefore, we can get these games in a little earlier. The wind up and the pitch, and that is just inside. One and two count on the third baseman. Mirabli to the set. That one's inside as well. Rabley delivers, that one's inside, that'll fill up the count. 
You'll notice early on, Mirabli can have her struggles in the early innings, but then will uh, eventually wind down, and there's a foul tip. Good battle here by Julia Stevens. Mirabli went four and a third against Milford. She was responsible for three of the seven runs as that pitch is fouled away. And that was the most runs she's given up all season in a game. And she's had a pretty good year so far on the mound. As this is in fair play and caught over at third base by Nikki Como. A little bloop shot for the second out. That'll bring up Sam Stone. Good battle by Stevens, making Rabley work for it. Wind up and the pitch. And that is in there for strike one. Now a little movement along the infield. Rabley delivers up high. Rabley awaits the sign. Swinging strike. A one and two count. To the set. On the ground. Mirabli plays it. Throw to first. Not a problem. And the top half of the first is retired. The Hopkinton Hillers coming up next as we enter the bottom of the first inning. We are set to enter the bottom half of the first inning, a scoreless game with the Hopkinton Hillers coming up. And let's take a look at the Natick field. Taylor Erickson is the pitcher. She'll be throwing a Sam Stone behind the plate. Laura Sears over at first base. Joyce Libin, the second baseman. Maggie Mastriani, the shortstop. Julia Stevens, the third baseman. Natick from left to right. Julia Adelman is the left fielder. Andra Larade is the center fielder and Eve Lenson, the right fielder for Natick. The Hopkinton Hillers batting order. Molly Bennett leading off, playing second base. Lindsey Whittles batting second, playing left field. Lizzie Kelly batting third, the catcher. And hitting cleanup will be Kayla Sullivan, the right fielder, as Erickson set to deliver to Bennett. We'll get the rest of the lineup in just a moment. That pitch down low. Kate Welzell is batting fifth. She is the shortstop. Heather Holly batting sixth, first baseman, designated player batting seventh, Colleen Mitchell, the windup and the pitch that is in there for a strike. Nikki Como, the third baseman, batting eighth, and Renee Cooprider rounding out the order, playing center field. A one and one count to Bennett. The windup and the pitch, and this is hit into right field, and that is fair. Bennett is going to round first, heading over to second, and the ball rolled out of the park. The fielder had to chase it down. And I think Bennett's going to go back to second base. That's a ground rule double for Molly Bennett. Eve Lenson had to chase it down in right field, rolled out of the field of play. But a nice way to start things off for the Hopkinton Hillers. And that'll bring up Lindsey Whittles, the left fielder. And now the umpire is going to have a discussion with Coach Baker. It looks like they're sending her to third. So they're gonna give her the triple. And I guess uh, what happened was it, it must have been ruled that way because Lenson misplayed it in right field. So that could have been what changed the call. And I'm not sure if she made contact with the ball before it actually rolled out of the field of play. As that's a strike to Bennett. If the fielder touched the ball before it ro rolled out of the field of play, that certainly would have given the free bag. As there's another strike on the lefty, Lindsey Whittles. Bennett against Milford went 0 for 2, but did get on base a couple times. As there's strike 3, Whittles goes down looking. She actually scored the only Hiller's run. She was hit by a pitch in the first inning, and then Kayla Sullivan had an RBI single. 
That was the only Hillers run in the 7-1 loss to Milford. As Lizzie Kelly will come up. Taylor Erickson, this pitcher for Natick, has some good stuff. Of speedy delivery. As that pitch is in there for a strike. She's in her senior year and certainly one of the better pitchers around the area. Erickson delivers. That is just high, one and one. Lizzie Kelly did a nice job behind the plate last game. Had a couple of good stops on a few wild pitches. As this is on the ground, up the middle, that gets through. And a Hiller's run is going to score on the RBI single by Lizzie Kelly. It's a one to nothing game. As Molly Bennett comes around from third, and the Hillers strike first. That will bring up the cleanup hitter, Kayla Sullivan, the right fielder. The wind up and the pitch, that is low. So one and O count, runner on first, one out. One run already plated for the Hillers as this is hit into foul territory, one and one. Erickson awaits the sign and delivers a swinging strike. Looks like she was trying to hold up that swing but could not quite pull it back in time. One and two as this is hit in the air, foul territory, first base side, and that will land out of play, one and two. That ball landed over by us here along the first baseline. Erickson set to deliver. This is hit in the air towards left center and that'll drop down for a home run. As that gets past the fence, a two run homer for Kayla Sullivan and it's three to nothing Hillers. Rush that ball and maybe a little help from the wind there to blow it past the fence, but got a great piece of that pitch. And the Hillers are off and running. As Kate Wilzell will come up to the plate. Still only one out for the Hillers in the inning. That pitch is in there for a strike, grabs the inner part of the plate. Perhaps the Hillers taking out some of their frustrations from a tough Milford game. There's another swinging strike, 0-2. And, <laughs> Kayla Sullivan getting the job done in the cleanup roll. This is in play, slow roller towards the pitcher's circle, throw to first in time. Two away. It'll bring up Heather Holly, the first baseman today. Holly, a sophomore, also a pretty good pitcher. Did see some relief work in that Milford game. Is that pitch up high? One and zero. Oh. Holly expected to be a pretty big piece of this team in the coming years. Wind up and the pitch. It's down low. 2 and 0. 333 hitters. Had six at bats heading into this week. Wind up and the pitch. Just low. Oh no. There's a strike. 2 and 1. Of course, the umpire has a much better view than we do over here along the first base side. Just outside, three and one. Erickson hoping to get out of this inning with this pitch. And there's strike two. A three to nothing lead for the Hillers. Still on the bottom of the first. An RBI single by Lizzie Kelly to drive in Molly Bennett. As this one is hit over to the second baseman. Little 
flip to first, and that's good for the third out. But not before, Lizzie Kelly hits an RBI single to drive in Molly Bennett after she tripled. And then Kayla Sullivan, a two RBI home run. It's three to nothing Hillers as we head to the top of the second. Set to enter the top half of the second inning. It's a three to nothing Hopkinton Hillers lead over Natick after a two run bomb by Kayla Sullivan. Drove in Lizzie Kelly. We are set for some Natick hitters. Taylor Erickson, Maddie Mastriani, and Joyce Libin do up. As the pitcher Taylor Erickson will step to the plate now, looking for some revenge. As Mirabli is set to deliver. That pitch just inside, 1-0. Mirabli awaits the side. Wind up and the pitch is just low. There's a strike. Low strike zone it looks like out there. A one and one count. That one just inside. This always helps when you have an early lead to work with. You can relax a little bit. Certainly not too much. Natick does have some power in this lineup. There's another strike, grabs the inner part of the plate. Two and two on Erickson. Rabley delivers a swinging strike, blazes it right by her, one away. Second strikeout of the game. Maddie Mastriani will head to the plate. Swing strike. Rabley awaits the sign. That pitch just low. One and one. Rabley delivers, that pitch just a little bit low. Rabley awaits the sign. And deals, and this is hit in the air to center field, but there to make the catch is Renee Cooprider, and there's two away. That'll bring up Joyce Libin. Rabley set to deliver. This is hit foul behind home plate, 0 and 1. Rabley to the set is just high. Rabley delivers, that one just a little bit high. Natick led by head coach Karen Perkins. And assistant coach Kirk Bushenfeld. There's a swinging strike. Two and two count. Rabley deals, there's a swinging strike and that will retire the side. That is the third strikeout of the game for Mirabli, and we will head to the bottom of the second with the Hopkinton Hillers leading Natick three to nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Fletcher Tilton, attorneys at law serving central Massachusetts and beyond with responsive solutions. Guided by three basic principles, integrity, leadership, and excellence, Fletcher Tilton, visit them online at FletcherTilton.com. As we are set for the bottom of the second inning, Colleen Mitchell steps in, the designated player. And 
that pitch is just high. Taylor Erickson out there for another inning of work after a rough first inning. Three Hillers runs came across. Lizzie Kelly with an RBI single as that pitch is outside. And then Kayla Sullivan with a two RBI home run. Erickson set to deal. That pitch just upstairs. To the set, that one's just a little bit high and Mitchell draws the walk. They'll bring up Nikki Como, the third baseman. Nikki in her senior year and an attempted steal and now caught between the base passes. The throw gets by is Mitchell, but the throw rolled into center field. She slides into second and she's safe. So a little bit of a misplay there, stole a base for Mitchell. And if that throw wasn't a little bit away from the second baseman, they would have had Mitchell for the out. And now a bunt attempt, and it's in fair play, picked up by the catcher, throw to first. A good play to get Como, but advancing to third is Mitchell. So two to three on that little roller for the first out, but Mitchell over at third base now for Renee Cooprider. As the Hiller is trying to manufacture a run here. There's a strike. Coop Ryder was at a 429 mark heading into this week. Erickson to the set. That's fouled away behind home plate, 0 2. One out for the Hillers, a runner on third. Pitch is just up high. So you can hear the wind starting to blow around. A windy afternoon here at Hopkinton High School. That pitch down low. Two and two. Erickson to the set. And that is just outside, full count. Swinging strike, and that is the second out of the inning. Nice job by Erickson. That'll bring up Molly Bennett to the plate. She had a triple her last time up and scored the first run of the game off a of Lizzie Kelly single. Wind up and the pitch, and that is hit foul. And all in one count. Erickson delivers. It's good movement on that pitch, a little high though. Looked like it had a little curve to it. Erickson deals, swinging strike. So far so good at battling back for Taylor Erickson. That's fouled away into the backstop. A one and two count on Bennett. Erickson delivers, and that is just low. Nice stop by Stone behind the plate. Just high. A full count on Bennett.
Bennett heading into this week already had a home run for the sophomore. She hit her. And there's a swinging strike. A nice job by Erickson getting out of the inning after a leadoff walk to Colleen Mitchell. She is able to go one, two, three to end the bottom half of the second. We will head to the third. It's a three to nothing Hiller's lead. We are ready to enter the top half of the third inning, a three to nothing Hiller's lead. Come due up for a Natick is Angela Rod, the center fielder. Laura Sears, the first baseman, and Eve Lenson, the right fielder, is Lorraine will head to the plate to face Bree Mirabli, who has not given up a hit as of yet and has three strikeouts. And two scoreless innings of work so far. And a little bloop shot over the glove of Mirabli, picked up by Wazell, and the throw to first is not in time. Good hustle down the line by Lorraine, and she's able to beat a good throw by Wazell coming in from shortstop to field. And Coach Baker is not thrilled with the call. He's going to have a discussion, it looks like. And now the umpires are going to talk about the call. And they are going to confirm that she is safe at first. And I didn't really get the best glimpse of it. I was watching the, the throw, but it did look like she did just beat it out by a hair. Sears awaits the pitch as she will square to bunt and foul it away. An 0 and 1 count. Bradley set to deliver. That is fouled away towards us, 0 and 2. Made us dance a little bit over here along the first base side. Thought the camera might get a little closer to the softball than we'd like. Oh, and two count. The square to bunch, she pulls back, pitch down low, checking at first, almost got her, but she slides back safe. Good throw down the line by Kelly. And Holly's holding onto it to see if Lorraine, let's go of that bag. Rabley set to deliver. A square to bunt, the pull back, and the swing foul. Sears trying to get in the head a little bit of Mirabli by squaring that bunt before every pitch. She's going to do it again here. Pulls back and swings in fair play. A nice catch by Heather Ollie. And she tags the first base bag for the double play. How about that? A three unassisted double play. And that'll bring up Eve Lenson. Nice job by Holly. Two outs in the inning. Bases clear as the right fielder steps in. Pitch just inside, 1-0. and oh. Mirabli set to deal. Swinging strike, 1-1. One and one. Mirabli awaits the sign and delivers. That's fouled away behind home plate, 1-2. and two. Rabley delivers. That's just outside, two and two. Rabley to the set. There's a swinging strike, and that will do it. Her fourth strikeout of the afternoon, and we will head to the bottom of the third. It's three to nothing, Hopkinton. 
We are set for the bottom of the third as stepping in is Lindsey Whittles and the first pitch is just outside, a 1-0 count. A 3-0 lead for Hopkinton over Natick. Taylor Erickson set to deliver and that pitch hit foul down the third base side, 1-1. One one. All three runs for the Hillers scored in the first inning. RBI single by Lizzie Kelly, followed by a two-run homer by Kayla Sullivan. Erickson deals, that pitch just low. Whittles, Kelly, and Sullivan do up in this inning. There's a swinging strike. Looks like Erickson's starting to pick up some momentum after some early game struggles. That pitch is up high. For those of you just joining us, you're tuned in to Hopkinton Hiller Softball on HCAM. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call as that pitch just high. And drawing the walk is Whittles. So runner aboard to start things off in the bottom of the third and that will bring up Lizzie Kelly. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch, that's fouled away. 0 oh and 2. And right now this is the tough part of this Hopkinton Hillers batting order. And that pitch had a good drop on it, but a little too far inside. One and two. Erickson awaits the sign and deals. Swinging strike. And that will do it for Lizzie Kelly, one away. Kayla Sullivan will come up to the plate now. Oh, excuse me, she's still up there. Must have got a piece of that. So the wind up and the pitch, and there's the swinging strike, and that time that'll do it. So now one out, and that'll bring up Kayla Sullivan. Erickson delivers. That pitch in there for a strike. Erickson to the set, down low, one and one. Erickson awaits the sign and deals up high. Two and one on Sullivan, swinging strike. Erickson to the set, and this is hit in the air towards left center, towards the fence, and that's gone, another home run! Another two run bomb for Kayla Sullivan, her second home run of the game. It is a five to nothing Hiller's lead. Kayla Sullivan has not hit a home run yet this season, but the senior has two today. And that will bring up Kate Wellzell. Well, I think Kayla Sullivan's pretty reliable in that cleanup role. <laughs> Is that pitch up high? It'd be interesting to see if Erickson walks her when she's up next. As this is hit in the air towards right field in foul territory, off the glove of Eve Lenson. 
One and one. Lenson almost had that catch, but was unable to hold on to it. And a softball is a different animal from a baseball. You gotta get the whole ball in the glove. This is hit in the center field. That'll drop in for a base hit. And Wellzell is aboard with a single. So one out single. Already two more runs plated in this inning off Kayla Sullivan's second home run of the game. And now Heather Holly will step into the batter's box. That pitch just outside, 1-0. and oh. Line up and the pitch outside, 2-0. Erickson to the set, that's fouled away. Two and one. Erickson delivers. Wellzell taking off from first, throw down the pipe, and she slides into second safely. A stolen base for Wellzell. The speed of Wellzell, no surprise there. And she thought about taking off again. Drawing the walk is Heather Holly. It's now two aboard with one out for Colleen Mitchell, who walked her last time up. Erickson set to deliver. This is hit in the air in foul territory. First base side, 0 and 1. Erickson delivers down low, 1 and 1. Runners thought about taking off, but stayed put. Erickson to the set, on the ground, up the middle, played by the third baseman, flipped to third, is not in time, and everybody's safe. So the base is loaded for the Hillers with one out. The flip just came too late, just hit perfectly, and now Nikki Como awaits the pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Still one out for the Hillers. Line up and the pitch, down low. A five to nothing lead and threatening for more with the bases loaded and one out. Kayla Sullivan, another two RBI home run as that pitch down low. Two and one count. Line up and the pitch. This is hit in the air. It is going to go into foul territory. And tracking it down is the second baseman. The throw home will not be in time. And a run was plated. On the sacrifice. So it's now six to nothing, Hillers. And now Coop Ryder at the plate. This is hit in the air towards right field and it is going to be caught by Eve Lenson. And that will do it for the third inning, but not before the Hopkinton Hillers plate three more runs, a six to nothing game heading into the fourth. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Weston Nurseries, located at 93 East Main Street. Visit their garden centers in Hopkinton or Chelmsford and discover limitless possibilities to create your backyard paradise. Find them online at westonnurseries.com. We are set to enter the top half of the fourth inning, a six to nothing Hopkinton Hillers lead. After three more runs plated in the third, 
Do up for Natick is the top of the order. Julia Adelman, Julia Stevens, and Sam Stone to face Bree Mirabli. And Mirabli a comfortable lead to work with as we enter the middle part of this game. Wind up and the pitch, that's fouled away. Oh and one. Rabley to the set, delivers, that's fouled away. Behind the backstop, 0 oh and 2. Four strikeouts so far in this game for Mirabli. Rabley delivers, up high. 1 and 2. Adelman awaits the pitch. That's hit in the air in foul territory and out of play. Rabley delivers just outside. Two and two. To the set, down low. Rabley awaits the sign and delivers. Swinging strike, and she is going to take off after the drop ball behind the plate by Kelly. But Kelly will throw down the line and get Adelman with the strikeout, no problem. One away. That'll bring up Julia Stevens to the plate. Rabley set to deliver on the ground, up the middle, played at short. Well, Zell throws across, and that is going to be the second out of the inning. A nice job by Well Zell. Two away for Sam Stone. Good defensive work so far today by the Hillers as well. That pitch is just high, 1-0. and oh. Rabley set to deal. That's followed away into the backstop, 1-1. One and one. Rabley gets the sign and deals. Just inside, two and one. Rabley to the set, up high. A three and one count on Stone. She grounded out her last time up in the first inning. Rabley deals, this is hit in the air towards Center field, ranging over to make the catch is Renee Cooprider for the third out of the inning. And we will head to the bottom of the fourth with the Hopkinton Hillers on top, six to nothing over Natick. And we are set to begin the bottom half of the fourth inning, a six to nothing Hopkinton Hillers lead over Natick. Due up is Molly Bennett, Lindsey Whittles, and Lizzie Kelly, as the Hillers had eight hitters in the last inning. There's a swinging strike. The third inning for the Hillers started off with a walk and then a strikeout by Kelly, but a two-run homer by Kayla Sullivan got the offense started as that pitch is down low. Followed by a Kate Welzell single, a Heather Holly walk, and a Colleen Mitchell single. Welzell was... Ended up coming around a score run as well, and there's a strike there. A 
Mozell also had a stolen base. It was a good manufactured run. And this is up the middle and through the glove of the shortstop into left field. And it is a single for Bennett. It was Nikki Como with an RBI sacrifice that drove in Wellzell for the sixth Hillers run. And that will bring up Lindsey Whittles. As that pitch is in there for a strike. Erickson still out there trying to battle through, however. Inside and taking off from first base, sliding into second with the stolen bag is Molly Bennett. That's the third Hiller's stolen base of the game. And I have not seen any warm up action for Natick, so perhaps Taylor Erickson really the only pitching option today is that pitch down low. The good thing is this is softball, so certainly a lot harder to get your arm too tired as a pitcher. Because that one's in there for a strike. Two and two on Whittles. Whittles has walked, struck out, and scored a run today. That pitch up high. Erickson awaits the sign and deals. And that is just outside. Drawing the walk is Lindsey Whittles and two aboard with no outs for Lizzie Kelly. And then after Lizzie Kelly, you got Kayla Sullivan coming up. The lineup and the pitch. That's in there for a strike. Molly Bennett at second, Lindsey Whittles at first. No outs in the bottom of the fourth. And that is in there for strike two. As the runners go back to their bags after leading. Erickson awaits the sign. That is just up high, one and two. Lizzie Kelly had an RBI single in the first inning and then struck out in the third. And that is just inside. The Natick fans looking for the strike call on that. A two and two count on Kelly. And this is smashed into left field but into the glove of Adelman and the runners will stay where they are. One away in the inning. Good piece of it, but Adelman was just in exactly the right place at the right time. But now Kayla Sullivan coming to the plate. Already two home runs today. Two two-run homers for Sullivan. And she is looking for a third with two runners aboard. And there's a strike, 0-1. Erickson delivers down low, one and one. And this is interesting how she approaches Sullivan here. Is she going to go for it or is she going to throw away from her? There she throws away from her, two and one. After someone hits two home runs off you, you might be a little wary to give them anything good. That's hit into the backstop. That was in the strike zone, two and two. Erickson awaits the sign and deals, and a little bloop shot to the shortstop, and it's caught. So Mastriani makes the catch on the little liner for the second out. Now Kate Wellzell with an opportunity to try to produce some more offense for the Hillers. Two runners aboard still as Wellzell steps in and awaits the pitch. Down low, and the runners are going to take off as the ball gets by. Sam Stone will rush to pick it up towards the backstop, but on a wild pitch, Bennett advances to third, Whittles to second. Erickson set to deal. 
And this is hit in the air towards center field, battling the sun and making the catch is Andra Laraid. A nice job by Laraid, sun right in her eyes there. And that is going to be the third out of the inning. We will enter the fifth, the Hopkinton Hillers leading Natick six to nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by REMAX Executive Realty, My House Partners. My House Partners serves the entire Hopkinton Mass real estate market, including surrounding areas such as Ashland, Bellingham, Framingham, Grafton, Holliston, Marlboro, Medway, Menden, Milford, Northboro, Northbridge, Shrewsbury, Southboro, Upton, Uxbridge, and Westboro. Find them online at myhousepartners.com. We are set to enter the top half of the fifth inning. It's a 6 to nothing Hopkinton Hillers lead. Due up for Natick is their cleanup hitter, pitcher Taylor Erickson, followed by Matty Mastriani, the shortstop, and Joyce Libin, the second baseman. As the Hillers will huddle up on the mound to get ready for the inning, a tradition before every defensive inning starts for the Hillers. As Erickson will step in, she struck out her last time up in the second inning. 0 for 1 overall on the day. As Mirabli is set to deliver. That is inside. Mirabli awaits the sign. Line up and the pitch, just high. Two and O count. And this is hit in the air, foul territory, third base side, and there will be no play on it. Como and Wellzell came over, but just a little bit too far past the fence. Two and one. Rabley set to deliver. And that is down low. Three and one. This is hit in the air towards left field and foul into the woods. Three and two. Rabley awaiting the sign as the wind starts to blow, and that is outside. Erickson draws the walk. And there is going to be a pinch runner coming into the game for Erickson. Sarah Wright will be the pinch runner. So Nadek gets some speed on the base path, trying to push across their first run of the afternoon. As looks like the umpire adjusting his lineup card. That's the delay in the action. Maddie Mastriani, the shortstop set to come to the plate. She flew out her last time up in the second inning. So far this game, Natick has only produced one hit. Line up and the pitch, a bunt attempt pulled back and too late for the strike. Back to the bag at first is Erickson, or excuse me, the pinch runner, Sam Wright. Rabley set to deliver the bunt attempt and that is in fair play just in front of home plate. Throw down the first is in time. But Sarah Wright advances to second on the sack ground out by Mastriani. Sacrifice two to three there. Nice throw down the line by Kelly. And she has provided some very good reliability behind home plate as Joyce Libin awaits the pitch. 
And this is another bunt attempt. That is in fair territory. Throw down the line, and they get her at first. But Erickson push over to third, and then a throw across the diamond from Holly to Wellzell. Slips out of Wellzell's glove, but not far enough for Wright to make a move on it. So there's a, another sacrifice, two to three for Libin, and two straight bunts. You can see that Natick really just wants to get a run on the board here. Try to get some momentum going as Mirabli set to deliver. That is inside. Mirabli to the set. That's down low. A two and O oh count. Two outs, runner on third for Natick. Swinging strike. Lorraine had a single in the third inning. She's one for one on the day. There's a swinging strike there. Mirabli throwing some gas. Two and two. That's fouled into the backstop. Rabley delivers. That's followed into the backstop. A good battle here by Angela Raid. Rabley delivers. Swinging strike. And that will do it for the top half of the fifth inning. We will head to the bottom of the fifth. The Hopkinton Hillers leading Natick six to nothing. We are ready for the bottom half of the fifth inning. It's a 6 nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. Due up for Hopkinton is Heather Holly, Colleen Mitchell, and Nikki Como. And on the mound for Natick is Taylor Erickson. They'll keep her out there for another inning of work. As Coach Baker talking to the umpire about potential lineup adjustments that could be coming. With a comfortable lead, try to get some of the younger players in there perhaps. Is that pitch down low? Holly so far is 0 for 1. She walked in the third. That pitch is in there for a strike, 1 and 1. The wind's starting to blow a little harder here at the field six at Hopkinton High School. This is on the ground and back to Erickson in the pitcher's circle. Throw to first, not a problem. One away. And that will bring up Colleen Mitchell, the designated player. So far, Mitchell is one for one with a single. She walked and stole a bag in the second, a swinging strike there. Erickson awaits the sign. And that pitch had some serious movement on it. Definitely a breaking pitch there. Had a nice drop, 0 oh and 2 is the count. That pitch, uh, fastball is a little down low, but Mitchell took a nick at it and fouls it away. Count remains 0 oh and 2. Line up and the pitch, just outside. Erickson, she's had a couple rough innings, but she's really battling through it, staying out there, keeping her composure, and there's a swinging strike for the second out of the fifth inning. Nikki Como now coming to the plate. Now Sam Stone going to talk it over with Erickson. Heather Holly has continued to 
warm up for the Hillers in case she needs to come out and pitch. If she does that after every inning, she'll be warming up. Is that pitch down low? But called a strike. She'll go to the warm up area and just keep her arm warm in case she needs to come in. This is a little boop shot in the air towards right center. Ranging over to make the catch is Lenson, and that will be the third out of the fifth inning. The Hillers go down one, two, three, but lead six to nothing as we head to the top half of the sixth inning next. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Visit them online at goldenpondassistedliving.com. We are ready for the sixth inning. And due up for Natick, Laura Sears, Eve Lenson, and Julia Adelman, we have a new pitcher for the Hillers. Heather Holly is out there to relieve Bree Mirabli. And that means we have a new first baseman and Bree Mirabli will move over to first base. As the infield will meet on the mound and that was the change that Coach Baker was talking to the umpire about the last half inning. And everyone else still the same, but Holly on the mound, Mirabli over at first and this is good for Holly. Get her some good experience. She'll get two innings out of this. And getting two or three innings in a few games as a sophomore is just great experience. So Heather Holly is set to face Laura Sears. Holly set to deliver. There is a strike. Holly to the set, on the ground, up the middle, played by Will Zell, throw to first, not a problem. One away. That'll bring up Eve Lenson, the right fielder. Coach Baker coming out now, talking to the umpire. Heather Holly does have her glove off. Not quite sure. Looked like it had to be. Uh, so it was a wardrobe violation. She had the bracelet on. She had to put the bracelet away. Holly delivers the bunt attempt. It's a slow roller up the middle. Throw by Mirabli over to first. And a nice job by Bennett covering the first base bag for the second out of the inning. Good throw up the line by Mirabli, too. And that will bring up Adelman. Julia Adelman has struck out twice so far this afternoon. Swinging strike there. Lizzie Kelly will come out to talk to Heather Holly. They'll communicate signs as the infielders will take this time to meet up as well. And they're all smiles on the mound there, not quite sure what they're talking about. And it looks to be a stoppage because of something going on on the field. Coach Baker talking to the umpire. I believe it's probably a umpire, uh, it looks like a umpire's mask malfunction. So he's adjusting his mask and that's the stoppage in the action right now. 
And that gives us a chance to recap what's happened so far. It's a six to nothing Hopkinton Hillers lead. Three runs scored in the first inning for the Hillers. Started off with a triple by Molly Bennett, strikeout by Whittles, RBI single by Lizzie Kelly, and then a two run home run by Kayla Sullivan. And then three more runs would score for the Hillers in the third. After Lindsey Whittle's walk, Lizzie Kelly struck out another two-run homer by Kayla Sullivan. And then Kate Welzell, single. Heather Holly would walk, a single by Colleen Mitchell, and a sacrifice flyout to drive in Welzell by Como. Is that pitch inside? And that's how the Hillers six runs scored so far in this game. Holly delivers just inside. One and one count. On the ground, up the middle, Holly plays it, flip to first, and that will do it. A one, two, three, top half of the sixth. The Hopkinton Hillers lead six to nothing as we head to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Bottom half of the sixth inning, a six to nothing lead, and we have a pinch hitter to start things off. Coming in for Renee Cooprider, it's Azalee Curl. Azalee Curl will step in. And still out there for Natick is Taylor Erickson. Azalee Curl is a junior for the Hillers. And the past two games, she spent much of her time coaching uh, the first base bag when the Hillers have their offensive reps as the first pitch down low, a 1 0 count to Curl. There's a strike. Curl awaits the pitch. That's inside and low, two and one. Credit to Erickson, still battling through. She's thrown a lot of pitches so far this afternoon. And that pitch is in there for a strike. Erickson to the set. There, strike three. Curl goes down looking. So there will be some position changes for the seventh inning. We'll see if Curl takes over in center field. And it looks like we are going to have a pitching change for Natick. As the head coach Perkins will come out there and Looks like she's going to maybe take the ball from Erickson. So we'll step aside and we'll get you updated on all the changes in just a moment. You're watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Bottom half of the sixth inning, one out for the Hillers, a new pitcher for Natick, Bella DeMar on the mound to relieve Taylor Erickson. Taylor Erickson slides over to first base. As stepping in is Molly Bennett. So Erickson stays in the game as DeMare is set to deliver. This is a little bloop shot in the air, caught by the second baseman as Joyce Libin was there to catch the second out. And now Lindsey Whittles will come up to the plate. Whittles so far is 0 for 1 today, but has walked twice and scored a run in the third. That pitch up high. DeMar awaits the sign. The lefty delivers just inside. don't see a whole lot of lefties in softball, so certainly an interesting sight here is that pitch inside. Lefty pitchers, that is. Damare delivers. That's in there for a strike. Got lefty versus lefty here in this matchup with Lindsey Whittles.
to the set. And this is hit in the air. It is in foul territory, and it is off the glove of Damare. She's not able to pull it in. A three and two count. Mari delivers. That's fouled away to the woods. Count remains full. And that's upstairs. Whittles battles through and draws the walk. Now Lizzie Kelly will come up to the plate. One for three on the day, has an RBI single. That came in the first inning. Tamari awaits the sign and deals upstairs. Lindsay Whittles at first, two outs for the Hillers. Bottom of the sixth inning, a six to nothing lead for Hopkinton. There's a strike. Two two-run homers by Kayla Sullivan. And if this game holds up, I think it's pretty clear who the player of the game is. And this is on the ground, up the middle, played at short, and she will not be able to get a good enough grip to throw it over to first, so Kelly reaches. And that is going to be an error on the shortstop as Whittles advances the second. And I'll bring up Kayla Sullivan. Two for three with two two-run blasts. Line up and the pitch. This is on the ground, third base side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, and it's dropped by the first baseman, and everybody's safe. So Whittles at third, Kelly at second, Sullivan reaches on the error, the second error of the inning. And Adix Fielding has been pretty good up to this point. But a couple bloops in this inning as Wellzell awaits the pitch with the bases loaded. And there's a strike. Tamari awaits the sign. And delivers inside. Line up and the pitch. That's inside. Tamari to the set. On the ground, third base side, that'll get through in the left field. One run is going to score. And then after that, everyone will hold up. So Whittles comes around to score on the RBI single by Wellzell. Pushing up to third is Kelly. Sullivan pushes to second. And that will bring Heather Holly to the plate. Line up and the pitch. In there for a strike. and one. Tamari to the set, down low. Nice stop behind the plate by Stone. One and one count. Line up and the pitch, just inside. And that grabbed the inner part of the plate for a strike, one and two. To the set, that's hit foul. Count remains one and two. Bases loaded for the Hillers with two outs. Already another run pushed across here in the bottom of the sixth to make it a seven to nothing Hopkinton lead. Damare to the set, delivers low for a ball. Two and two.
On the ground, that'll get through into left field. One run around to score, and everyone will hold up after that as Lizzie Kelly scores the eighth Hillers run on an RBI single by Heather Hawley. Pushing up to third is Sullivan. Wellzell over to second, and there's going to be a Natick Conference on the mound. Due up for the Hillers is Colleen Mitchell, but it appears they are going to have a pinch hitter. Bree Mirabli is coming up to the plate. So they lose their designated player because they left Mirabli in the game. So Mirabli will bat now. That means Colleen Mitchell's day is likely done. The lineup and the pitch. Nice drop and it's in there for a strike. Damari to the set, swinging strike. Good movement on that pitch. 0-2. Oh Damari to the set, delivers up high. Nikki Como do up on deck, shall Mirabli reach. And that's foul. One and two. Tamari awaits the sign. And deals. Up high. Nice job by Stone getting the glove up there to avoid an, a, another run scoring for the Hillers. Line up and the pitch, and this is belted in the left field. That'll drop in for a hit. And another Hiller's run is around to score, and some trouble tracking it down to left field. And a second Hiller's run will come around to score. As Adelman had a couple struggles out there getting to it. And Kayla Sullivan came around to score, followed by Wellzell on the two RBI single by Mirabli. Heather Holly pushed up to second. And now Nikki Como at the plate. Swinging strike. A 10 to nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. Damari delivers. And this is hit in the air to right field. That'll get in for a hit. Holly being waved around, and she is going to score. Mirabli being waved around as it was chased all the way to the fence. Two more Hopkinton Hillers run score. A two RBI double by Nikki Como. And that is going to do it. The mercy rule has been put in effect. And the Hopkinton Hillers have mercyed Natick 12 to nothing after a six run bottom half of the sixth inning. Quite an offensive display by the Hopkinton Hillers and certainly some sweet revenge after losing to Milford just yesterday in their first loss of the season. They come out and mercy Natick here today and take the game 12 to nothing in six innings. We'll take a quick timeout, come back and get you the final stats up next. The Hopkinton Hillers take down Natick 12 to nothing, a six inning mercy as six runs were plated in the bottom half of the sixth for the Hillers. Hopkinton scored 12 runs on 11 hits. Natick only had one hit in this game, a tremendous pitching performance by Bree Mirabli. Natick also had two errors, both committed in the bottom of the sixth inning. Bree Mirabli went five innings, giving up one hit, had one walk and four strikeouts. A great pitching performance by Mirabli today, but the player of the game is Kayla Sullivan, two two-run home runs in the first inning, a two-run homer that drove in 
Lizzie Kelly after Lizzie Kelly hit an RBI single to drive in Molly Bennett for the first Hillers run of the game. And then in the third inning, three more Hillers runs would score. Uh, Lindsey Whittle started off the inning with a walk. Lizzie Kelly struck out and then a two-run bomb past the center field fence for Kayla Sullivan to make it five to nothing at that time for the Hillers. And then Kate Welzell would hit a single followed by a Heather Holly walk, a Colleen Mitchell single, which would load the bases for Nikki Como, who had a sacrifice fly out for the sixth Hillers run. And then in the bottom of the sixth, the offense came alive once again. Taylor Erickson, despite giving up six runs, battled her way into the six and was able to get two outs. But then after walking Lindsay Whittles, Bella Damare came in and Lizzie Kelly would reach on an error by the shortstop followed by Kayla Sullivan reaching on a error by the first baseman, dropped a routine throw to first base for the out, and, not, and that got the Hillers' rally started as Kate Wellzell came up, an RBI single, Heather Holly followed with an RBI single, and then a two-RBI single for Bree Mirabli, followed by a Nikki Como RBI double, which would then put the mercy rule in effect, a great offensive performance by the Hopkinton Hillers as they take down Natick. 12 to nothing. Hopkinton improves to 4 and 1 on the season. Natick falls to 1 and 1. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us on this broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers Softball.